Did you know that hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards? Cool. All right, welcome back. Today our students will be sharing their amusement parks. Before we get started, there are three things that you need to remember. Number one, be confident. Number two, be articulate. And number three, have fun, okay? We can't wait to see your amusement parks. Karosh, can you share with us yours first? Mandana, yeah. do you have a question? Yes, of course you're gonna have fun because it's an amusement park. Who doesn't have fun at, fun at an amusement park? True. All right, Krosh, let's see. So what's it called? Me and Manna both did different kinds of amusement parks. I uh, just did simple like dots. So each one of these things like represents a game, restaurant, ride, and that's the mandatory anime watching station. But <laughs> um, what's it called? And then I have a, uh, on a sheet that I'm going to screen share each like digit with like the uh, points and then like what the name of each place is and Munna on the other hand has a lot less things but she's actually like colored them and made things so hers isn't going off of the grid but she's like painted roller coasters and that stuff so this, uh, I'll screen share my thing wait oops that's turn off video not screen share sorry <laughs> screen share this so I actually changed my name from yesterday to the fun fair but it uh, so <laughs> it's a fun fair, get it? But so the blue names are the ones I'm going to share with you today, but you can read the rest. So there's Dug Dug's Dog Food for People. There's Coco's Chocolate Free Hershey's. There's Taste Bud Adventure. There's Hakuna Matata. Or no, there's Hunka Hunka Mad Food the Game. There's Hunka Hunka Mad Food the Restaurant. There's Interpretation. There's Only Pizza as Long as It is Cheese with No Dairy. There's <laughs> Trust Me, the rel uh, Reliable Trust Fall Game. There's Schnitzel. There's Find the Body and Hope You're Not Next. And there's Find the Body and Hope You're Not Next for Kids. There's Schnitzel V2 Reloaded. There's Taste Bud Adventure, The Game. There's Schn Schnitzel Revolution, the epic end to the trilogy. There's Game, The Game. There's Space Fountain, which we went over yesterday. There's Did Someone Say Safe Roller Coaster? Because we didn't. There's we used to call this place Adventures of a Lifetime, but this is the name now to warn you that this is the only normal and safe place in the fun fair. Literally, this place is called the fun fair, and it has the word unfair circled in the title. And for the four restrooms, which I'll show you on the little share up here, those four dots in the middle are the restrooms, and the restrooms have different names. There's just the restroom, there's the restroom, there's the restroom, the and there's the toy let get it? Uh -huh. toy -let. So, I love that. And you can read the rest. Uh, yeah, some of them have some funny names. So I'll stop sharing and Monday you can go over yours. Nice. Before you do, Karosh, I think both of us, um, both Montana and I should share uh, what we thought about it. I thought that it was really awesome. I don't think that I will be going to that amusement park, but I do really like it. The fun fair, um, I might have some nightmares of, about it, but I, I do appreciate your thoughtfulness and your creative names in there. That was hilarious. Um, I would not go <laughs> because <laughs> I think it's a scam. You think it's a scam? <laughs> yeah. What gives you that idea? <laughs> nice job, Karosh. You came up with a know. lot of different coordinates. <laughs> Out of a uh, favorite place of all the, the restaurants is interpretation, the restaurant. I interpretation. love that. <laughs> my favorite, favorite games. Um, am yeah. Uh, oh. Are you guys having a little bit of a connection issue right now? Um. Well, I'm. I'm, I can still hear you, just not Kurash. Yeah, I had that too. Oh, hello. Hello, you're back. Okay, yeah. you were sharing what your favorite part was? My favorite, my favorite so my favorite restaurant is Interpretation. <laughs> and then my favorite games are Schnitzel, Schnitzel V2 Reloaded, and Schnitzel Revolution, the epic end to the trilogy. That's, <laughs> that seems like quite an interesting game. Yeah, it definitely does. I was really nervous about the one that said, um, 
try to find the body and hope you're not next. <laughs> that was that cracked me up. All right, Mondana, you ready to share yours? Yes, I am. So, as you guys know, you're not next for kids. Yeah, I would do the kid version, I think. <laughs> as you guys know, mine is called Banana Land, and it is super fun to me and interesting to me. And so, this is the key. Very nice. And we start with the first quadrant, which is wet banana. And so, if we go up to my beautiful colored thing, <laughs> we can see wet bananas quadrant is right here, mm -hmm. here. And if we start here at banana slip, banana slip, this is a slip and slide, but with banana peels on it so that you um, slip even more. I love that. And then, it's hard to hold a computer with one hand and not drop it. <laughs> <laughs> then we have banana split. So this is a banana split boat. Then you're just riding in the river. Then you go down the slide nice. of water. So wet banana is like the areas where you're going to get wet in the, in the amusement park. Um, then this is actually a maze. But cool. these little boxes are water cannons that shoot water at you while you're trying to do the maze. That sounds fun. So that's wet banana. Now if we move along to banana store, which is the second quadrant, we can see all of these stuff. So the first thing is like the ant, like the things that are glass. So we've got a, um, a giant statue of a banana a banana bowl, and a banana mug. Next, we have the kids section where kids might want to get stuff, which is um, a banana plush toy, um, banana sunglasses, and bananas themselves. Next, we have bananas rides. So this is just, um, this is banana coaster, and you go along the fruit, uh, the, the bottom, and then through the invisible hoop to this, it's a wonky ride, and then you jump from here into the banana tunnel back to the end. What? It's a very crazy roller coaster. <laughs> Next, we have instead of a Ferris wheel, it's a banana wheel. And the people, there's a little person down there. I don't know if you can see it, but the little people go inside of the bananas and they ride around. Next, so if you've ever been to a real amusement park, have you seen those like ships that yeah. swing See? this way and that way yeah it's instead of that it's a banana cool. that swings this way and that way like. and it's called banana twist next we have bananas like literally this quadrant is called bananas and the restaurant is called bananas best bananas there's their logo right there and um they're a restaurant and they have their tables over here, but then down here is their stage where they have performers so that the people outside can watch. Oh, I love and it. And then we have the porta potties over here. We have the women's porta potty and the men's porta potty. Very nice. Mondana, very good job. It's banana land. I love it. And I noticed on there, um, because we were learning about coordinates, that you did put a dot at either the entrance or center of the ride, and then you plot it on your key. Can you show us your key again? Yeah, so, so banana split, I showed you that one. That one is right, uh, is 11, three, 11, okay. three. And then, so you nice. can just look to see where everything is. Awesome. So you mapped it out just like that. Very good. So we had two very different versions, but two very awesome versions. And you guys can create whatever you want at home as well. Let's go ahead and give Mondana um, a compliment each, as well as a comment. So I think if I were to go to Banana Land, I think that I would first want to ride all the rides in Wet Banana. That looks a lot of fun. The Canon one especially. And then I think I would really, really, really want to go on the banana boat. Banana twist? What did we call this one? Banana twist. Yeah, that's what you called it. <laughs> nice. So I have a con 
uh, I have a question for, I have a query for Banana okay. Land. Um, do you have a high concussion rate? <laughs> yes, on the roller coaster. Oh, that makes sense. People, Wait, people why on the roller coaster? Know? Wouldn't it be on the like banana slip and slide? <laughs> no, the roller coaster because you jump from one part of the roller coaster to the other, and if you don't make it, you die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Both of these amusement parks have some safety issues. I'll give you that. You don't have to go on the roller coaster. You can just do everything <laughs> else. Everything else is safe. I love it. All right, guys. Today we're going to end with a quick game. Um, we learned a few math terms. Do you guys each have a piece of paper and a utensil um, that you could answer these questions on? If you don't, please grab them. Am I able Very to nice. use this? Yes, you can write on that. Okay, yes. so... There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different um, vocabulary re words that we learned during this math unit. Um, creating our amusement parks was a lot of fun, but we also applied some math knowledge. So this is how the game works. I am going to be giving you a definition and I want you to write what the word is that I'm defining, okay? So the first one, are you ready? Yeah. This is what we call the vertical axis on a coordinate plane. Mm. What do we call that? Can I say? What do we label it? You both will show me here in a minute. I'll say on the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. That Don't is the Y axis. Very good. All right, next one. This one, um, is what we use to call the four different sections of a coordinate plane. We break them into what? I don't know how to spell it. Can I just say it instead? Sure. Just keep it until Karosh writes his, okay? And on the count of three, you can say it. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Quadrants. Yes, quadrants. Very good. Next one. This word defines the center point of the grid. And if you were to use coordinate pairs, it would be at zero, zero. Done. <laughs> Do you remember it, Mondana? It's okay if you don't. Yes, it's the origin. Nice job, Karosh. That center point we call the origin. That's okay, Mondana. <laughs> All right, this one I know you'll get. All right, two lines that intersect and create a 90 degree angle are what kind of lines? I also don't know how to spell it. You can say it. Okay. Be thinking, be thinking. All right, on the count of three. One, Wait, two. I, it's a long word. It takes Yeah, three. it's true. Three. What is it? Perpendicular lines. Yes, perpendicular lines. Very good. All right, the next one. Karosh, for the sake of time, you can just say it out loud. That'll work. <laughs> All right, the next one is this. It's a two-dimensional plane formed by the intersection of a vertical line, or a vertical line, our y-axis, and our x-axis. What is that plane called? What's the whole thing called? A grid. Yeah, a grid? Close. It's a... Coordinate plane. Coordinate plane, yes. I thought it wouldn't be a coordinate plane because you used the word coordinate plane to describe it. I used two-dimensional plane, but yes, I, I use the word plane. You're, you're right. It's so funny when um, people like don't know the word and you're trying to get them to do the word and you're like, cord coordinate, right? Okay, so the next one is the horizontal axis is called the what? This one's easy. One. Oh, A-axis, X-axis. X-axis, yes. We Why do I keep it. wanting to say A-axis? There's no oh, A-axis. No. There's no A-axis, you're right. Okay. Whenever I say A-axis, you know I mean X-axis. Last one, here we go. Two lines that never intersect. Parallel. Parallel, or parallel. Right. I, I knew that, I knew that, I was literally doing this. You were literally doing it, I know you knew it. Nice job, guys. Do you guys have anything else to add about the project or anything that yeah. we learned in this unit? Yep. If you are part of the fruit world, I'm a banana. It's not your choice. You have to make yours your fruit. Okay? Ooh, yeah. Share with us. All right. Good job, guys. Bye. Wait, Bye. Wait, 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 wait. I have one word to say. One more thing? Okay. Schnitzel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>